Welcome, I'm Joan Worley and this is the TV Stretch and Flex class. What we're gonna think about is our healthy stress. Most people think stress is a detriment to your body, but you need some, enough to get you off the couch, but not too much so that you're a basket case. So when you start to perform some type of activity or someone asks you to say a speech or introduce yourself, what you might do is Think about how your body's reacting. Are your palms sweaty? Are you starting to feel like you're gonna throw up? Um, your heart rate's going fast. See if you can calm yourself down. Just like we do at the beginning, we take our breath and we try and focus on the job and not bring in all this other anxiety and all of our past things that we don't like doing. So while we're doing the stretch, I want you to think about relaxing, using your breath, controlling your stress level so that you can use it and other times. All right, let's get started. Make yourself nice and comfortable. And we're gonna work on our breath, try and focus in, relieve some of the stress that you brought with you. Hands on your knees, take a deep breath in. As you do, expand your belly. And then exhale, tucking your belly button in close to your spine. That's it. And again, breathe in, expand that belly and exhale tucking that belly in keep going nice and slow close your eyes sitting up tall ear shoulder hip are in line nice and easy exhale and breathe in belly goes out and in clearing your mind each time you breathe in gather all that stuff you have in your head of lists to do, lists you didn't do, things you need to do, and when you exhale, you let it go. That's it, great. A couple more, nice and easy. And now, when you take your next breath, lean forward, stretching your hips and your back. Keep stretching forward, that's it. And when you need to exhale, slowly lean back, tuck your belly in towards your spine. Take your, take your time. Now, we're all gonna be going at a different pace, depending on how much you can breathe in, how long you can hold that. And then exhaling, nice and slow, take your time, that's it. And if you wanna focus, close your eyes, sometimes that helps. As you lean forward, maybe you can go a little bit farther each time, stretch the hips out, stretching the lower back, and then working the belly buttons, and that's it, nice. A couple more. And when you're done with this one, go ahead and sit up and wait for everybody else. Great, okay, let's do a couple neck warm-ups. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our ear to our shoulder as we start. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lower your ear. Try and keep your shoulders straight. And if you need a little extra stretch, you can press the shoulder down a little bit more. And if that doesn't give you that super stretch, you can take your hand and just place it on top of your head and let it stretch. Now you don't want to pull down, you just want the weight of your arm. If it's too much, then take your hand down and just work on that opposite shoulder. And lower that arm, right, and other side. Exhale as you bring your ear down to your shoulder. Take your arm, place it on top if you want that extra stretch. Close your eyes, work on your breath. Each time you exhale, you relax. Nice, and come on up. Let's do it one more time, both sides. Breathe in, as you exhale, lower that head. Nice, bring your arm up and rest it if you want. There you go, good. And one more time. Breathe in, and exhale, go to the other side, hand on your head, and relax. Great. Okay, let's get started with our new stretches. We're gonna do the inner thigh advanced stretch. We did something like this. We're gonna put our feet together, sitting up nice and tall. Now remember your ear, shoulder, and hip are in that line. We're gonna lean forward, bringing our elbows in front of our knees. If you start pressing here, it makes you get tighter. So you wanna bring the arms in front, nice flat back. Now some of you won't even be able to go farther forward because you're tight. Just take your breath, exhale, relax wherever you're holding tight, and see if you can go a little farther. If you can't go farther, work on your breath and relax. So we're still doing a nice straight back. 
and your breathing. Okay, keep going. That's it, nice and slow. Relax those hips. You're probably holding them tight. Your thighs, relax. All right, let's take a deep breath in again. As you exhale, tuck your chin, round your back, and see if you can go a little bit farther forward. Use your breath each time you breathe in, expand the belly, and as you exhale, relax where you're holding tight. Now, for those that can, the advanced part is you're gonna put your hands down on the mat and see if you can move your hands farther forward. If your arms are up like this, you're creating too much tension, you wanna relax those shoulders and maybe bring your hands back, that's it. And we've got Patty to help us today and Steve. And we all have different flexibilities. So um, I'm sure you can relate to one of us. Keeping your chin tucked, still breathing. Now as slow as you can, you're gonna use one vertebra at a time as you roll up, take your time. Chin stays tucked and then the very last thing will be your neck and then your head. Good, okay. We're gonna do that one again. All right, if you need to wiggle a little bit so we can get started. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lean forward, flat back. Now you might be able to go a little bit farther forward this time, using your breath. Elbows are in front, flat back. Try and relax, relax those hips, the thighs, the back. That's it, nice and easy. And let's take a deep breath in in that belly. And as you exhale, tuck that chin, round your back, and continue to go. Nice and easy, breathing through your belly. And exhale, tucking that belly button in. Take your time. Maybe you can move your hands a little bit farther forward. Elbows are bent. Feel that super stretch. And as slow as you can, roll up one vertebra at a time. Take your time, take your time. Then it's your neck, and then your head. Good. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on our backs, and we're gonna work on our ankles at this point. All right. Okay, nice flat back. Let's bring our right leg up first so we can see it. And that's our farthest leg. What we're gonna do is you're gonna rest your thigh nice and comfortable on your chest, keep it there. And I want you to bring the bottom of your foot inward. Feel a nice stretch on the outside of that foot. And then go to the other side, pressing the opposite direction away. Now you're not gonna get much motion, but this is one direction that you need to work on. Okay, so go ahead and bring that foot around. Bottom of your foot's going up. That's it, and then Reverse the direction, pressing the foot away from you. Continue, again, bring it bottom of the foot around. And then reverse, going the opposite direction. Great. And we're gonna combine this with, um, we used to, we pointed our toes at one time and then press through our heel. What we're gonna do is do all four directions. So let's start pointing your foot down. Then the bottom of your foot comes up then do that nice heel cord stretch and the opposite direction and point again. Try and get all four directions. Go ahead and then try and make it nice and smooth and do a nice rotation at your ankle. Great. All right, let's bring that foot down and bring the other one up. Okay, let's start. Bottom of your foot comes towards your face. That's it and then reverse, press as far away as you can. And bottom of your foot is up and reverse, press away and up and press away. Good, now let's combine that, pointing your toes forward, bottom of your foot comes up, heel cord stretch and reverse, pressing that foot away from you, point Bottom of the foot up, heel cord stretch, reverse, and then see if you can make a nice circle getting all four of those directions. Take your time. That's it, good. Okay, we're gonna put that foot down 
and we're already here we're going to do some bridging with straight legs this is very difficult so if you find that your back is not strong enough then you're just going to do the bridging where we do the pelvic tilt and we lift up as high as we can all right so let's just warm up with a couple bridges so you're going to do the pelvic tilt chin is tucked pelvic tilt lift up and then as you go up you want to go one vertebra at a time off the mat now let's say you're getting stronger but you don't feel comfortable yet you can take your hands and help support yourself so that you can get up a little bit higher or you can clasp your hands underneath keep those arms on the mat that's it all right now we're going to slowly roll down one vertebra at a time we're warming up to go to the bridges with a straight leg nice let's do one more of those and pelvic tilt chin is tucked roll one vertebra at a time go as high as you can press through and again you can use your hands to help hold you up or bring your arms down underneath and support with your shoulders that's it good and very slowly roll one vertebra at a time as you roll down nice okay now this time why don't you just wait for a minute and i'll demonstrate this one you're going to roll up pelvic tilt roll up and you're going to pick one leg up straighten it out bend it put it back down and try not to sit while you're doing it you want to stay as high as you can need your hands use them all right so we're going to do the leg closest to the camera ready and deep breath in exhale pelvic tilt take your time rolling up get a nice position so you can hold on with your hands underneath your tush to get you high or you can clasp your hands underneath whatever's easier and let's lift the leg up and then bring it ba back down. Now see if we can do the other leg. Get up as high as you can and bring that other leg up, straighten it out, bend and back down, and very slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Chin tucked, deep breath in, exhale, slowly roll up. Feel that strength in the stomach and the back. We've been developing it for a while. All right, let's bring um, our right leg up, straight it out, bring it back in and down, other leg up, straighten it out and back down and roll nice and slow down. Excellent. All right, now we're gonna relieve the stress that we just put on our lower back by just bringing our legs into our chest and just snuggle them up to your chest and rock side to side, nice and easy. And another trick is put your hands on top of your knees and just do little circles to see if you can release the tension in your back. Okay, in the other direction. Great. Okay, let's get up and review the stretches that we did last time. Okay, we're going to do a side straddle. So we want to get our legs out as far as you can. Now, if you're just getting out of bed and you're a little tight, you remember you want to walk or run or do something just to warm up the body. Um, some of us, the flexibility is tighter when you are um, cold. And uh, some of us are just tight anyway and we can't bring our legs out far enough. It's okay. You start with your own level and work from there. All right, so Patty and Steve, you ready? We're gonna turn at our waist, lean forward, and maybe you can't lean forward, you can only go a little bit, but you want your elbows bent. You don't wanna stretch out because you are counterproductive. All right, so we're leaning forward, taking that deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly lean forward. If you can go farther, you keep going farther. You can walk your hands as long as your elbows are bent. And then watch this other leg. You wanna be sure it stays up toe and knee up towards the ceiling. Take your time, flat back. Now you notice we all have a different uh, level of flexibility. We're all going to our maximum and that's what's important. All right, now let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin, round your back and see if you can go a little farther forward with your hands. Keep relaxing, keep both hips pressed down. And very slowly, we're gonna walk our hands towards the center, your body comes with you. And we're going to stay there for a moment. We have a rounded back. Toes and knees are still straight up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and let's take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're either going to relax and go farther forward or you're just going to release the tension that you're holding in the legs to get your maximum stretch. 
And very slowly, let's go to the other side. Walk your hands, take your body with you. Chest is over your knee and your head's tucked in. Nice round back. Keep using that breath. Walking your hands farther forward. When you find that you get tight, you want to relax those muscles and continue to stretch. Very slowly, keeping your chin tucked, roll up. Take your time, take your time. And then look to center. Good, all right, let's do that one again. We're gonna start on the other leg. So rotate it to your waist, flat back forward. Exhale, take your time, relax the thighs. Keep both hips pressed down, flat back. Use the breath. And let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin around your back. Walk your hands a little bit farther forward and settle into the stretch using your breath, relaxing each time you exhale. Take your time. Eyes closed, focus on the stretch. Very slowly walk your hands across, take your time, go to the center, chin is tucked, toes and knees are straight up. You might want to wiggle at your waist a little, be sure you're relaxed. And slowly go to the other side. Take your time, take your time. So your chin is over your knee. Feel the stretch, use your breath. And as slow as you can, roll up. Great, all right, let's do that again. Sitting up nice and tall. Deep breath in, exhale, turn, go straight over that leg. Now you might find this time you're getting a little bit farther. It's working. You want to use your breath, focus, keep your mind on the stretch. And deep breath in, exhale, tuck your chin around your back. Use your breath. Keep both hips down. And very slowly, walk your hands to the center. Feel a nice stretch. Now, if you're not feeling enough stretch with your legs where they are, you can bring your toes up towards you and that will increase the intensity of your stretch. But again, when you do that, you wanna use your breath to relax as you're stretching. And very slowly, walk your hands to the other side. Take your time. Heads tucked, rounded back. See if you can get those arms a little bit farther forward. And slowly roll up. Great. All right, now if you don't think you have enough stretch, you can put one leg out a little farther, scoot just forward. All right, let's try it again. Turn, deep breath in, exhale, lean forward. Relax as you go forward. Take your time, flat back first. Get all you can out of the flat back. Pressing both hips down. And deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin around your back. And see if you can go a little bit farther forward. Keep relaxing. And slowly walk your hands to the middle. See if you're a little bit lower than last time. Toes are up. If you want to intensify the stretch, bring your toes closer to you and slowly walk your hands to the other side. Take your time. And when you're over at the other leg, relax while you're there and slowly roll up. Ah, that was a great stretch. Okay, now we're gonna do our double leg lifts, working on our strength of our trunk as well as our legs. Again, we want to have that nice straight line, ear, shoulder, hip, back of your knee and ankle. You want to have that straight line. You can support your head and you want to put your other hand right in front of your chest so you don't roll back while you're doing this exercise. We're going to do it three times. So you want to make, take all your energy as if we're only going to do it once. All right, deep breath in. As you exhale, lift both legs up, tighten. All right, now you notice we all, all three of us have a different level that we can lift our legs. Whatever you can do is the maximum. You wanna do it, keep holding, but you wanna keep breathing. Try not to hold that breath. 
All right, now feel the trunk muscles and your legs holding. And very slowly, take your time, lower those legs. Nice. And bend and release for a moment. Okay, now you might find that your heart's going a little bit faster because you were holding that stretch for a while. It's that stress that I was talking about, healthy stress. As long as your breath comes back to normal pretty quick, then you're doing okay. All right, let's straighten those legs again. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift and hold. Tighten up. Close your eyes. Feel the muscles that are helping you do this exercise. Think of your stomach, your back, your tush, your legs. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Keep holding. And as slow as you can, lower. Great. And bend your knees. Now, for those that can't get your legs off, or you can do it twice, but the third time's gonna be too hard, what you're gonna do is just tighten your legs as we're holding them, and when we release, then you release your muscles. All right, let's try it one more time. Deep breath in. <sighs> Exhale, and lift and tighten. Feel those muscles. See if you can get a little higher this time. But remember, you don't wanna roll on your back. Stay on your side. That's it. Keep holding. That's it. And very slowly lower. Bend your knees and release for a moment. Get your breath back to normal. And let's get on our other sides. So swivel your hips to the other side. Legs out, support your head. And we're ready. All right, legs straight. Focus on the exercise. Deep breath in, exhale, lift and hold. Now you're gonna find one side's easier than the other. It's like all of our stretches. Tighten, keep holding, keep holding, that's it. And very slowly lower your legs, that's it. And bend, release. Feel that breath, or the, um, your pulse, your heartbeat going a little faster. Slow yourself down, use the breath. Okay, straighten those legs again. Ready, deep breath in. Exhale, lift and hold. Hold, tighten. Feel your tush, your stomach, all the muscles holding you up. That's it. And very slowly, lower your legs and bend. Nice. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. Straighten the legs out. Deep breath in and exhale and lift and hold. That's it, keep holding, tighten up. See if you can get a little higher. Are you holding out? There you go and slowly lower, perfect, and bend. Good, okay. Now we have our uh, seated hip stretch that we're gonna review. You ready, let's get up. All right, I like this one. All right, one leg's gonna be straight. We're gonna cross our right leg over, and I'm gonna take my hands, put them behind me, keep a nice straight back, so I'm not rounding my back, I'm sitting up. Taking my right leg, going to cross it above my knee, not on my knee. All right, now the straight leg is going to sneak up, trying to put your foot flat. Now for some of you, your hip just seized up and you're going, oh, what a stretch. Use your breath, relax and hold it there. For those that can move it a little farther, bring your foot flat and that increases that stretch. Try not to let your knee come in, keep pressing it out. And let's release that for a moment. And you might want to take that leg down Circle your toes, and let's start again. Crossing over, same leg. Right leg's crossed over. Slowly bring that foot up. If you need some more stretch, bring that foot even farther up. And if you need more, sit up tall. And keep working on it. Use your breath, breathe in. Exhale, relax. That's it, keep going. Nice. Straighten that leg out, and let's put the other one crossed over. All right, you ready? Slowly sneak that leg up. Now you might find one side you can't go as far. That's okay, as long as you're going to your full potential. And if you can, bring that leg up a little more. And if you can, sit up taller. That's it, use your breath. Nice, keep stretching. And release. And we'll do it one more time. Ready? Cross the leg over and slowly bring that foot up. Sit up tall. There you go. Relax. 
Nice. Okay, you can let go of your legs. And why don't you lie down on your backs, get ready for the relaxation. Now remember, we're looking for healthy stress. You need enough to get you off the couch, not too much so that you can't do anything, but um, stress gets you motivated, it gets you moving, it gets you in front of crowds to make speeches, whatever you need it for. So a little stress is good. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you for being with us. This is your time to relax. Take a deep breath in, exhale, relax. Keep your mind clear, your eyes are closed, your face is relaxed. Visualize yourself walking, jogging, skipping, moving, feeling healthy, because you've picked a healthy lifestyle you take care of yourself, you're vibrant, you've got energy. You see yourself walking down the street and people admire you. They're looking, what is it? And it's your healthy lifestyle. It's that extra energy you have. It's taking care of yourself. You see yourself working out, whether it's taking walks, climbing mountains, going to a gym, and they admire you, those around you. You're committed. You see yourself going through a program, and you are going back every day. You should have a natural high for feeling healthy, living each day to your fullest.